About half of the homicides in Kern County are unsolved, and today the families of victims of those crimes march through Bakersfield. Jeff Platt shows us how this one day gives victims hope for justice in the future. Jeff. Well, Dave Rochelle, as Dave mentioned, half of all homicides in Kern County are unsolved, which means a lot of families here are still seeking justice, which is why the theme of this year's march was cold case. The path to justice can be long and rigorous. Do not lose hope. Arlana St. Clair, whose son was killed 19 years ago, is still on that path. It kind of breaks my heart for them. And um, it reminds me to pray for others that are go still going through this. On a windy day in Bakersfield, St. Clair was just one of many in the crowd still seeking justice for a loved one. Possibly none have sought longer than Nellie Mesa, who lost her daughter to violent crime. 29 years I have been in contact with the authorities, and not once have they not said to me that they're not working on my baby girl's case. Nellie hasn't given up hope that one day she will find justice. Police Chief Lyle Martin hasn't given up either and says he never will. Even though they're called cold cases, our policy is no case is ever closed. The mass of victims marched through Bakersfield, ending at Mill Creek Park. Their signs a reminder of what they lost, a white flower symbolic of the justice they seek. All of their stories a reminder to us that truly all of us are victims of violent crime in our community. Everyone, whether if, if it's not a relative, it's a friend or the friend of a friend, somebody that you know. Now this was the seventh annual Victims March in Kern County. About 500 people were there today. Live in studio tonight, Jeff Platt, Eyewitness News.